Hi. I want to show you one of my favorite extensions, uh, which is called Add New File. So if you go to the extension manager in Visual Studio and you search for Add New File, you'll see the extension showing up right here. And so what is it exactly that this extension does that's so awesome? Well, it gives me a keyboard shortcut. So I can now hit Shift F2, which is a very nice sort of one-handed uh, maneuver that's very easy to do without looking at the keyboard. Shift F2. That pops up a little dialog super fast, and it allows me to enter a file name. So I can add a new file name here. Um, it could be, uh, you know, test.cs for a C Sharp file. And it gives me a class. You see, this is a public class test, the same name that I gave this um, file. Um, so there's some templates built into this thing. It doesn't use the Visual Studio template system. It has its own sort of unique um, and very few templates. It, the idea is that it adds a new empty file or sort of an empty starting point. Sometimes that starting point means there's a little bit of code in there, like in the in the case of the C Sharp. But it also is a little bit smart. So I just added a C Sharp class. But if I name my file as something that starts with a capital I, like ifoo.cs, then it knows that it's an interface because of the naming, and it automatically inserts or creates an interface for me here. Um, I can also do things that is maybe a little bit hard to do otherwise, such as create a file that starts with a dot, like let's say git ignore file, dot git ignore, if I can spell it right, which I couldn't. Um, or a file that doesn't even have a, fi a file extension, like just the word license. It will give me a text file uh, without a file extension. So that's really nice and a super fast way of me of adding files. Now let's take a look at maybe a little bit more advanced features that's in here. Um, let's say I want to create a new folder inside the www root folder of this project. Again, Shift F2. Notice that the dot 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 root folder is selected. I selected that with the mouse here, and hit Shift F2. And so now I can create a folder. Let's create. Let's just call it folder, and I'm going to end that with a forward slash or a backslash, either way, and hit Enter, and that will create a folder. So now I have that right here. I could also have said create a new file that's in a new folder or an existing folder. So let's do folder and inside that we have a dir and then we have test.css. And that will automatically create that folder path for me. So I can also come in to any other folder and create multiple files. So I can say want to create foo.css comma bar.css and that will create both files, both the bar and the foo.css files, because I can separate them with a comma. And the same is true if I want to do folder. So I can do folder one, comma, folder two. And that will give me two folders. So it's very flexible um, and is very, very fast. And the convenience of just shift F2 and it knows what folder you're already on what file is open, and so it, it's relative to sort of your active context where it will create those files is really, really convenient. I've added a link to the extension in the description below. So go check it out, and um, thanks for watching.